smash that like button. Woo! Like and subscribe. Early morning. Sun comes up. The beach is full of waders. All packed up, ready to go. First few steps in the morning from my camp spot, just slowly walking up. Just a brisk walk beneath the sand dunes to my right, and we're just making our way to a big bridge that will get us across this river. This is the long bridge over the river as it goes out to the sea. Good morning. It's an odds world's way, day four. Found a good camp spot last night, just overlooking a bay. Not really anybody there. A few dog walkers, most were complimentary. One was not so, that's the way it goes. Um, the objective of today is to get as close to Linda's farm as I can so that tomorrow morning I can just get the tides right and walk across at low tide and then that will be it that will be the walk done it's a beautiful morning looks like the weather's going to be okay today i'm just making my way along the coast path land side of some dunes and we're coming up to a holiday park which i've just got to get through but let's see where the day takes us as it does with golf clubs and farms, the path goes right through the middle of a caravan park. So a couple of conveniences, just what I need. Quite a platform in the middle and out early. way to see houses. The sea on my right. Just got to get to the end there. Another walk across the middle of a golf course. This one's sea houses. I can see the green keepers up on the end there. Just passing the 13th hole. And I think those out there are the Farn Islands. This is Sea Houses Port, but in the distance is Banborough Castle. Some jawbones. A working port for fishing, probably quite small, but I know a lot of what they do is trips to the Farne Islands. Come out of the sand dunes, I can see the signs, make sure I'm going the right way. And I'm just walking across the sand at low tide. Across the rock that disappears at high tide. Hopefully around that corner. Beach, and then we get onto this one. Wide. It could be very windy on here. I've been here before, where it's been windy. 
Bamber Castle is just around the corner at the end there. Coming through the dunes to reach Banbra Castle. This is your local cricket club. And if you hit a really big ball, you hit Bamba Castle. Cutting cross fields, heading towards a quarry. Path is uh, comes in land. We go through a few sets of trees, but there's also quite a lot of quarrying going on, ancient quarrying. So I suppose it's following Oswald's route. Crossing over Warren Burn. This was clearly an old mill at some point, being converted into flats. That's a cool thing. Since Bamber, I haven't, it was about two or three miles, maybe more. I haven't seen one sign for St. Oswald Way. I've been following instructions in a book. Finally got to a sign before you go down there. There's a good reason why I haven't seen any signs, is the book takes you away from our left, not from over on the right. I do eventually get back to this path where I've got to follow the uh, telegraph poles all the way over the hills. But yeah, a bit of a mixture. East Coast Mainline. When the cows start following you across the field. Oh, they stopped. Field end. This is one rail crossing on a disused line. And this is the rail line where you've got to ask permission to cross. Hello, I'm at Belford Burn. There's just one of me. Uh, about 20 seconds. Thank you very much. This is the West Coast, East Coast main line. The guy on the phone said if I take 20 seconds, I should be fine. Walking by something pretty industrial. There's a big grain silos. It's a noisy industrial complex they take you by. After all that, they bring you out on the A1 with the proviso to cross safely. I'll try and do that. And we arrive in the tiny market town of Belford. There's its market square. Smash that like button. Woo! Like and subscribe. <laughs>